Welcome to the Cambridge IGSSC Chemistry. Our main aim during this course is to provide enjoyable educational environment for all students to help the students to study Cambridge IGCSE Chemistry in a very easy way and fully detailed way to develop skills that encourage a systematic approach to solve problems, encourage the receive practice, we encourage the communication through language of science, to develop attitude relevant to chemistry concerning the accuracy and solving problems. Our main aim during this course is to provide enjoyable education. During this course, and as we mentioned before, one of the key factors to achieve our E-star is the past papers. In the chemistry RGCSE, there are three papers. The first one is paper two, which is multi multiple choice paper for 45 minutes. This paper has 40 marks. The second paper is paper four, which is a short answer and structured questions. It is for 115 minutes and is for 80 marks. The last paper is paper 6, which is alternative to the practical part, which is the experiment part, which is found in section 4. We will go through it. It is 1 and 20 minutes, 1 hours and 20 minutes, um, and it is equivalent to 40 marks. This is all we have to know about the marks through the past paper. Practice is one of the key factors to reach success. During our course, we have to cover 14 points which represents the syllabus. The first thing is the particle nature of matter, second, experimental techniques, third, atom elements and compounds, fourth, cytochemistry, fifth, electricity and chemistry, sixth, chemical energetics, seventh, chemical reaction, eighth, acid, acid bases and salts, ninth, the periodic table, tenth, metal, eleventh, air and water, twelfth, is sulfur, thirteen, carbonates, and fourteen, the organic chemistry. The particulate nature of matter. Let's move to the first lesson. In the first chapter we have to go through in the syllabus is the particulate nature of matter. The important key points that we have to know during these chapters are is still the, the distinguished properties of solid, liquid and gas. Describe the structure of solid, liquid and gas in terms of separation, arrangement and type of motion. Describe changes in state in terms of melting, boiling, evaporation, freezing, condensation and sublimation. Describe qualitatively the pressure and the temperature of a gas in terms of motion of particle. Show an understanding of the random motion of particles in a suspension and an evidence for the kinetic particle model of matter. Describe and explain diffusion. Explains changes in terms of the kinetic energy. State evidence for Brownian motion. Describe and explain dependence of the rate of diffusion on a molecular mass. In the first chapter we have to go through in the syllabus is the particulate. At the beginning, we have to know that chemistry is the study of how matter is behave and how any substance can change into another. There are three states of matter in the whole universe, which are solid, liquid, and gas. The main properties which is common between all the materials are volume, which is the space it occupies, and the mass, its weight. When we look around us, we will find that rocks, water, and air looks very different but they are common in a very tiny pieces called the particles all the substance in the universe consists of an atom and these atoms consist of electrons protons and neutrons when we talk about solid 
we have to know that solid have a strong forces of attraction between them. at the beginning we have to know that chemistry is the study of how matter is behave when we talk about solid we have to know that solid have a strong forces of attraction between between the particles they vibrate in their position they have a regular pattern called lattice they don't move they don't flow they have a fixed volume shape and have a very high density so as we said before solids have strong forces of attraction between particles that are baked very closely together in a fixed and regular pattern called lattice the atom vibrate in positions that cannot change position or move therefore solid have fixed volume shape and high density يعني المواد الصلبة هتلاقي فيها زي uh, have strong force of attractions يعني هي بيبقى فيها البوند اللي بينها قوية جدا uh, uh, الجزيئات المكونة ليها بتبقى باكد كلوزلي توجذر يعني لازقه جدا في بعضها ما, بت... ما عندهاش حريه الحركه فعشان كده دايما هتبقى ليها نفس الشكل المواد الصلبه ليه بيسموها مواد صلبه لان ليها نفس الشكل نفس الحجم ونفس الدنستي ليه لان هي هاز ذا هايست فورس اوف اتراكشن اند ذي ار باكد كلوزلي توجذر اوكي زي فايبريت لكن ذي كانوت تشينج بوزيشن ممكن يتهز يحصل اهتزاز لكن لا يغير الحركة therefore they have fixed shape uh, uh, position and density moving forward the liquids the second type of matter is liquid liquid has a weaker forces of attraction weaker than solid I mean and they can move they can vibrate bounce between each other they can flow so they have a fixed volume but don't have a fixed shape they take the shape of the container they are used in and they have moderate to high density the third type is gases gases have no intermolecular forces between the particles they have no fixed shape no fixed volume the only thing they can do they can be compressed in a container to take a volume they have very low density of how matter is behave and how any substance can change into another there are three states of matter in the whole universe which are solid liquid and gas the main properties which is common between the intermolecular force the weak attractive force which acts between molecules these forces are much weaker than the covalent bond when sample molecular substance melt or boil it's weaker intermolecular forces that are overcome uh, to allow the molecule to break close and move okay يعني ال intermolecular forces القوة المتبادلة بين الجزيئات the weaker attractive force which act between the molecule these forces are much weaker than covalent bond ال ال دايما المolecular force أقل في القوة من الكوفالنت بوند when simple molecular for uh, substance uh, melt أو boil بتنصهر this weak intermolecular force are overcome to allow the molecule to break close and move يعني القوة بين الجزيئات دي أقل بكتير من الكوفالنت بوند هنرى بعد كده أن في أشكال من الربط بين النيوترونز والبارتيكلز اسمها الكوفالنت بوند فلما بيحصل تغيير في درجة الحرارة they melt or they boil ال intermolecular force دي overcome بتتغير وبتقلعوا ال neutrons او ال particles دي to move فتغير الشكل بتاع السائل او تغير الشكل بتاع الجاز اوكي summary long story short the table in front of you represents each one of its properties it states that the solid have a fixed volume, high density, a definite shape but don't flow. Liquid have a fixed volume, moderate to high density, no fixed shape and can easily flow. Gas has no fixed shape, expands to fill the container, low density, no definite shape. It takes the shape of the container to flow very easily. And this is a summary of the above slides. As we said before, solid has a fixed volume shape 
and um, it ha does not flow liquid have fixed volume moderate density no definite shape and it flow easily El gases low density no shape no fixed volume and it flows easily okay any questions contact us or call us uh, at the igsc prep at jmail.com uh, don't forget to wear your mask wash your hand stay safe stay home thank you that was dr sarah from the igc prep academy lecture of chemistry pharmacist can't wait till the second session see you all next session Bye.